Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are here along the uh, Ottawa River, right by Petrie Island. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the truth of wildlife photography. A lot of times, like on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff, you see all these epic images of wildlife. And the truth behind those images is hours and hours of sitting around doing nothing. Sometimes you gotta hike like, uh, you know, five, ten kilometers to get to a location. And then you get yourself all set up, you sit at that location for hours and hours, and the only shots you get are like a squirrel or something going by. Yeah, I've been sitting here for about an hour. You know, I've got some, you know, the usual suspects. Red winged blackbirds, uh, robins, chickadees, song sparrows. Uh, Hoping for a great blue heron, uh, maybe an osprey. I've heard an American bittern over there somewhere, but don't know where. And but yeah, it's funny you gotta sit around and wait for stuff. Um, a lot of times, walking around hunting for wildlife. Uh, the more you move around, the more noise you make, the more it spooks them, right? So, so you gotta sit back, relax, and keep your eyes open. But yeah, this is the uh, the truth about wildlife photography. <laughs> but yeah, we still have nothing going on here. Had a great blue heron just fly up uh, overhead. Um, red winged blackbird chasing a crow. Nothing. Nothing going on. I know there was a couple of wood ducks over there. I saw them land, but as soon as I approach, they're gonna fly off, so I'm not even gonna bother. Still hearing that American bittern over there. But yeah, nothing. Nothing going on. That's the thing. I'm out here in nature, enjoying uh, the outdoors. What more can you ask for, right? Nah, except for wildlife, but anyways. <laughs> well, it's been a couple hours at this location, and there's nothing going on here. So I think it's time to pack it up and move over to uh, go over to Petrie Island. See if there's anything going on over there. Well, we've had better luck here at Petrie. Uh, had a either a greater or a lesser yellow legs over there. Got to spend a good 10 minutes with him. And we got, of course, more geese, more ducks. Uh, we have tree sparrows, a whole bunch of those flying around. Don't know if I'll be able to get a shot of them, but that's okay. Had a great blue heron fly over as I was setting this up, so of course I didn't get a shot of him. There's kingfishers. Not that I could get a shot of them, but I heard them flying by. Well, it's turning out to be a pretty good morning so far. Had a uh, osprey fly by, got a couple of shots of him. Had a kingfisher perch in a tree branch just ahead of me here. And uh, he dove in and got something. I wasn't able to get a shot of that, but I would love to get a deer. 
along this edge here. I don't think that's going to happen. I had that happen to me once, probably about seven or eight years ago. I've only seen like about five or six deer here at Petrie Island. That's over a ten year period, right? So. Got a great blue heron right up ahead, way off in the distance, up in a tree. Can't get any shots of him. Got a little turtle on the log here. Had some geese come by fighting. I've been out here for about four hours. Uh, two hours at my first spot, two hours here. And uh, not a lot going on. So yeah, I spent uh, four hours today and these are all the shots that I got uh, well these are all the, the keeper shots that I got not much um, yeah not much going on but yeah that's the uh, the typical day for a wildlife photographer unfortunately I have to cut my day short because I have to go to Costco. A couple of mallards flying by here. Landing. So yeah, I gotta go to Costco. Fucking kill me now. Anyways, if you like these videos, you wanna see more from me. You guys know what to do, right? Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy shooting.